just made it to our second location. We are here at our current state capital here in Madison. Where the spot that was chosen was chosen by Judge Doty, who eventually became our governor when the president picked a new um, person to have that power. Friends, it's so exciting to be here in Madison, right here on this very spot. The second capital of Wisconsin was built. So we know we were over in Belmont. That was our first capital of the territory of Wisconsin. Wisconsin was still a territory when the second capital, as I said, was built right on this spot. That was in 1837. Now a third capital was built because that one was too small. Also, we right on this very spot, friends, that was in 1869 and unfortunately that capital burned so this capital that we're looking at this beautiful beautiful capital was built and opened up in 1917 so we're standing right here this boil we're right at our state capital it's so exciting Yay. and so cool friends we're going to continue to read in our our book about the people we mentioned as well as our state capital but before we end our video today, we're gonna hop back in the car to show you some more um, cool shots of our capital. So we just got in the car and we're gonna drive around the outside of the capital to show you um, what it looks like from the outside. The cool part about the capital is that it's um, constructed into four different areas. Ms. Chisholm, what are those four areas representing? Well, the four areas represent how our government works. One area is the legislative branch. So that area is where the lawmakers work. Lawmakers are elected by the citizens to do the work that needs to be done to keep us safe. Another area is the judicial branch where the Supreme Court and the judges work. The executive branch is where the governor works. And then that fourth area is filled with offices for other workers to help all of this run smoothly. All this work. One of the things that Ms. Chisholm and I have noticed as we are driving around is how beautiful our state capital really is. And as you can see, as we drive past here, it's really great architecture. Friends, this building is a symbol, the way the building was designed. It's a symbol for the important work that takes place here. We think about the leaders of our state who way back in 1848 had the vision to continue the work here in Madison. What a journey to get to Madison. When I think about our drive here from Belmont, I think Ms. Chisholm, it took us about like an hour and a half to get between Belmont and what's now our state capitol building. Yeah, we've had some tricky weather today. Yep, boy, we've done a great job. This has been such a great trip to see the history of our capital. Friends, up there at the top, you can see, if I zoom in a little bit, right at the very top is the dome. Ms. Chisholm, what's so significant about the dome that's up at the top? Well, the dome on the inside contains a lot of really beautiful artwork that signifies the history of our state and the focus on liberty and justice for the people in our state. This dome is symbolic um, for other reasons as well. But you know, I couldn't help, help noticing kind of some similarities between our nation's Capitol building and our state Capitol. 
I can't wait to investigate more of these similarities. Hi everyone, we made it back to Deer Creek, yay! What a day! Yes, it was so great to be able to explore and see where Wisconsin's first capital was located as well as our current capital. Um, and we can't wait to go on our next adventure with you, so stay tuned! Bye!